Mm, welcome to... Wait, what was it? Candy Scabs. A visual novel. I, I know, right? I'm, I'm always like, I don't like visual novels. Ugh. But with the cartoonish style, I don't know. I'm going to see if people are into it. Uh, and at least if I can tolerate the writing. We'll see, we'll see. But we'll see if people enjoy it on the channel. We'll see what happens. But as is uh, with the game, it's the Void's birthday. Bring candy and presents. Or else. A cute but dark little story about two nightmares looking for candy. So it's got, you know, the little horror twist to it, even if it's cutesy horror. But it is somewhat horror related, thus I will give it a try. So. <laughs> Interesting noise. Also, wait, is it a demo? I don't even remember. Let me double check. Man, yeah, it's a full game, and there's three endings, and 20 minutes per read. I mean, you could also probably hit the control to skip. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how fast I can read it then, if it's 20 minutes per ending. And I'm not sure if I'll get all endings, we'll see. It's the same thing every year. It's my birthday. You're all invited. You're all invited, and you will bring me candy in presents. And if you don't, I'll kill you. And I'll roast you, and I'll eat you, and I'll spit you out, because you taste bad anyway. That was what the Void announced. And the Void is absolute. Yeah, what are we going to do? I don't have any candy. Me neither. And I ain't got the slightest clue what it'd want as a present. Maybe more candy. Good luck with that. What are we going to do? Calm down, that's what. And after that, we'll drop by the human world to get some candy. What about the present? Listen, slow. Slaw? I'm gonna say it's slow. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Human world basically has everything anyway. If we're going to ever find a good present, it'll be there. You're right, right, you're right. You're so smart. Esker? I'm gonna say Esker. I'm not smart, you're just dumb. Hey, screw you. So you ready to go yet? Or do you want to sit here and cry some more? I want to cry, obviously, but we should go. Esker opens the door, <laughs> opens them a portal. Hmm. What? Something is wrong with the portal. Yeah, that figures. Looks like it's a bit over capacity. I guess that means everyone else wants to go get candy too. I doubt there'll be anything left for us in the big cities. I knew it. We're gonna die. The void will kill us and roast us and eat us and then spit us out because we taste bad anyway. Man, I'm getting sick of your negativity all the time. Oh, sorry, let me try that again. Yeah, yes, oh yeah, woohoo, we're gonna die, best day ever. Wait, I think I found something. There's a good amount of candy in a remote location. So there's candy for us over there? Yes, maybe not as much as in the biggest cities. But given that everyone is going to be... Uh, go everyone is going to the cities, this might actually... I mean, what, what, what do you mean the cities only gets big candy? I lived in a rural rural village, and I'd ba me and my brother would basically only traverse, like, I don't know, a quarter of the village, maybe half of the village, try to do as much as we can. You know what we did? We, we went trick-or-treating in Halloween in a tiny town, like, really tiny town. And we'd use pillowcases instead. We'd come home with a literal, like, a pillowcase full to the brim like we'd have it hucked over our backs being oh we can't carry all this candy it's just like it was just customary the fact that anyone could say oh yeah oh rural village barely any candy man well maybe compared to what the void would eat depending on how much he eats but man the amount of candy as a human we'd get in a rural village a, a pillowcase full monstrous and then we'd go home and then pop, like pour it on the floor and start binging great times man i miss those times because now as an adult you just you just go to the grocery store and buy the candy you want to eat and it's just the excitement's not there anymore man but yeah but given that everyone is going to the cities it might be better we'll be the only ones in the backwater town hey I, I take offense to that and we'll get all the candy there i knew you'd figure something out for us you're so smart and wonderful and kind i don't know if they're kind but or the best. Correct. Wow, let me add humble to that list. Haha, let's get going, shall we? The duo hops into the portal as one does, and off they go into the human world. But wait, it's never that simple, of course not. 
Given how many creatures had hopped into it in such a short period of time, the portal had lost its juice. Portals can lose its juice. Slow and Esker had just enough time to realize something was up, but not enough time to do anything about it. And so, something pretty bad happened. Now, where are we? Slow looked around and took a look around and realized there was no we. Asker! Asker! Where are you? Asker? But no amount of screaming could reach Asker, for wherever he was, it wasn't here. Oh crap, what am I gonna do? Slow decided that the best course of action was to run around like a headless chicken. And that's exactly what he did until he spotted something. It was a dim little, uh, a dim light a little ways away. So Slow slowly crept closer to that light. And their could, name could be Slaw, and I'm just completely mispronouncing it, but I, I don't care, man. I'm gonna call them Slow because they are slow in the head. And that could be the pun intended, but just because they don't know how to pronounce it, and I'm assuming I could be right and could be wrong, it could go right over my head, or just, you, you know, I, I don't know, man. But a pumpkin lantern, how nice. It must be here to guard the house. A human house, I think. So there's probably humans living inside. Knock on the door. There might also be candy. I mean, you'll be ex you'll be thought as a trick-or-treater, so knock, goddammit. All the lights are off. Maybe the humans are out right now. And I really don't want to, but here's my chance. Slow knocks on the door, gently, and then hides. No one answers. A good sign, but I can't be too sure. They knock on the door roughly, then hides. Still no answers. So Slow figures no one is really home and starts kicking the door in. But he doesn't get far with that. After just a few kicks, someone opens the door. Guess they were home after all. Learn a little patience, will ya? I was already sleeping. Ah. Wait, you're not Valerie, are you? Eh? No, no, what am I saying? Valerie would be dressed as a princess or something. Say, what are you supposed to be? Eh, uh, I'm a nightmare. Oh, nightmare, that's scary indeed. Here you go. The old man hands Slow some candy. Slow can't believe his luck. Oh my god, this is exactly what I was looking for. I bet you were. How did you know? Say, isn't there a little far? Isn't here a little too a little far to be trick or treating? The festival's at Town Square, isn't it? What festival? Oh, you didn't know about it. Are you new here? You could say that. Ah, uh, well, little fellow, we usually have a pumpkin festival for Halloween. It's where everyone gathers to celebrate, and the kids go trick or treating together. If everyone goes, why are you here? Why, I'm a tad too old for all that ruckus. But you should go to the festival. It's safer. I'm sure you'll find way more candy there than around lone houses like mine. Wait, you're saying there's a lot of candy at this pumpkin festival? Lots and lots of candy. Just head back to town and follow the lights. All right, I'll head straight over. They're gonna get lost. Take care, little nightmare. The old man closes the door and slow notices there's a path on the ground. For, I mean, for an old man who just had to wake up to a person kicking their door loudly, he was certainly nice. He must have been in too much of a panic to notice before. Following the road, he soon spots bright lights shining through the woods. That has to be the pumpkin festival. Maybe Esker is there too, somehow. Soon Slow arrives at the town square. Even though it's midnight and there are lots of people, no one seems to notice him. Weird, I thought humans don't like my kind. But that old one was really nice to me. And no one here seems to care even though I can tell they see me. Humans are supposed to scream and cry and try to kill us. Was well, that all a lie? No sooner has he finished that thought when someone attacks him. I knew it was a trap. After all, I'll kill you. Oops, sorry, my bad. Huh? A human girl releases her grip on slow and steadies her footing. Hmm, thanks for catching me. Though she was the one doing the catching. Hmm, I've never worn high heels before, haha. -ha. Their, their name is Small Human? Small Human. Hey, redheads for the win. Uh, they're harder to walk in than I thought. I mean, I don't know if I'd say red... I mean, if you got orange hair or red hair, it's basically always com presumed to just be... Just call it ginger, basically. Even if it's, like, all pumpkin-colored. Also, they're a lot harder to walk in than I thought. But my costume looks great. Uh... You can tell what I am, right? A human? I'm the... Tooth? Tooth fairy. I was gonna say witch. 
What's a tooth fairy? You don't know what a tooth fairy is, really? Is it a type of human? No, no, or maybe. They're kind of like humans, I guess. Tooth fairies? Why would you say they're kind of human? They're fairies. It's in the name. It's tooth fairy. They're a fairy, not a human. They're fairies. Tooth fairies collect teeth. What the? Why? I don't know. You get money for them, though. You don't know even though you are one? Okay, smarty pants. What are you, then? I'm a nightmare. Is that, like, from a movie or something? Movie? No, I'm just a regular nightmare. That's cool, I guess. My name is Valerie. What's yours? Slow. Okay, slow. Wanna hang out? Uh, sorry, I really need to find some candy in my friend. Oh, candy. Let's go together. I'm sure we'll find your friend, too. Slow thought it might be good to have a kind of, like, human... Wait. <laughs> good to have a kind of, like, human tooth fairy around. She probably knows the ways of the humans. So they went to collect candy together. I'm glad we met. I was just about to go home. Because all my friends did already. I'm telling you, if you want to stay up late, you gotta nap during the day. But did they listen? No. Sucks for them. I'm gonna get way more candy than all of them combined. Where's the candy? You gotta go door by door. Come to think of it, I ain't never seen you before. Did you just move here? I'm just visiting. How do we get the candy? We'll knock on the doors. Uh, don't knock on the ones without a pumpkin lantern, though. Why not? They're not part of the festival. They'll just get mad. Ah, huh, so no pumpkin, no candy. Got it. Let's try Mrs. Bloomstone. She's nice. We might even get a full-size candy bars from her. Oh my, full-size! Uh, before Slow can say anything, Valerie is already ringing the doorbell. Wait, I thought you said to knock. Eh, who cares? Granny with cat ears. I guess crazy old cat lady. <laughs> Trick or treat. Oh, what do we have here? I'm the Tooth Fairy, and he's a nightmare. Well, then I better give you some candy fast before you steal my teeth and give me bad dreams. That's right. Slow is beyond confused. The lady's words convey fear, but her demeanor seems delighted. The two of them are clearly threatening her. Why the smiles? I mean, <laughs> threatening. Just by existing? Oh, yeah. Oh, Tooth Fairy is so scary. Oh, oh. They might take my teeth and then leave me money under my pillows. No! Man, I wouldn't want to lose any teeth because they're no longer baby teeth, but you know what I mean. Oh, shit. <laughs> she... She... Er, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot, the bowl is empty. Wait just a moment. Better not, like, hand me an apple or something. A tactical retreat. The smile must have been a fake one. I told you she's nice. Nice, she just closed the... Slow loses the thought as he spots something from the corner of his eye. A familiar figure, or so he thought. Ask her. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, what? The candy. Miss Bloomstone is just getting it for us. But my friend? Candy. Candy. Uh, she makes a good point. And just then the lady returns, oddly enough. Both of them get the chocolate bars. Thanks, and I'll see you later. See you later. Say hello to your mom for me. Okay, bye-bye. As soon as Slow has secured the candy, he dashes towards the direction he saw Asker at. But he's already gone. Or he's in the dumpster. He came here. Sheesh, don't take off like that. You saw him too, right? Now I had my eyes on the prize. Chuck bar. Slow watches in horror as Valerie takes a bite of the candy bar. What are you doing? You I mean... Why is he trying to act like she's going to be delivering candy to the Void, too? It's his job. It's not like she's collecting candy for him. So, I mean, yeah, he's stupid. What are you talking about? Of course I can. But the Void? The what? My spawner. It'll get mad. Oh, boy. So you have those kinds of parents. Eh? Boo, don't eat the candy. It's all poison and full of tax. No. What the crap? Yeah, exactly. So relax and eat some candy. It's not mine to eat. Yeah, it is. At least eat the chocolate Mrs. Bloomstone gave. She's my mom's friend. I promise it's not tampered with. Hmm. Should we go a happy route or the route that will make us not get eaten and spit out? I mean, you technically get eaten, but you don't get eaten eaten because if you get spit out, then you're not dead and you're not swallowed vor style. So, and no fetishizing the game, please. Please. Even though I just said the word for people are like, oh, Nico said the word. He said the word. Oh my god. And then, you know, it'll go ape shit. Um, let's go with a happy ending first. Because if I'm getting any, any ending, I guess I might as well go for the happy one. This has a flower bite, by the way. This has a, a red 
sort of glowing, but I mean, it's glowing, but it's darker colored, so it's maybe bad. I'll eat the chocolate. Have a little happiness. I won't tell. So betrays the void. I mean, did the void ever say you're not allowed to eat any candy? He just said, give me chocolates, you know? He didn't specify a certain amount. He didn't say you're not allowed to have it near self. He just says he wants it all, or wants a lot. I don't know if he said all anymore. I don't think he did. Slow betrays the void and bites into the chocolate bar. It's delicious. Sweet, sweet betrayal. The best thing he ever ate. Oh my god, I need another. I know, right? Listen, we're gonna get so much candy, your mom won't notice a few missing. <laughs> the void is mom. It sounded weird to call the void mom, even though you could say that. The void was Slow's mother and father and god. The void was his and Esker's and every other nightmare's creator. It is everything and nothing at the same time. In fact, the void was beyond time, beyond existence. The void is eternity, collapsing into itself. And for some reason, everything and nothing deserves and de demands chocolate. And while it was everything and anything and nothing at the same time, infinitely, I suppose you could call it mom if you really wanted to. Slow, however, did not want to. Uh, hello? What? Anybody home? Oh, sorry, I got lost in thought. Chocolate is the flesh of gods. Ew, that's weird. What? It's not weird, you're weird. No way, chocolate flesh, you weirdo. I mean, if there's a chocolate monster, or if the void was made out of chocolate, but I highly doubt that. So the two of them continue their trick-or-treating. Say, Valerie, I've been wondering about something. Okay, shoot. I keep seeing all kinds of monsters around, but I thought humans were afraid of scary things like that. Are we playing monsters now? Eh, are we? All right, then let's see. Ooh, once a year a spooky night comes in the All Hallows Eve, and the scary creatures from the realm beyond come creeping and crawling around. Like Tooth Fairies? Snort. Yes, or... <coughs> like Tooth Fairies, the scariest of them all. I mean, I guess she's maybe self-aware that Tooth Fairies aren't scary, but I don't know, this is just a girl's thing. I mean... <laughs> And the things I, I... I'm trying to remember all the, like, weird Halloween stuff I'd seen as a kid or teen. Because then when I got older, it just became my job, rather, or self-proclaimed job to do my best to scare kids that come over. But it's just, like, some of them were just weird. I don't know if it's just, like, a village thing or an age thing, but, like, after the, I don't know, late 90s, early 2000s, there's just a lot more grown like grown women sort of like the thoughts category who are like doing trick-or-treating like they're way too old to be doing it still and they just like dress like sluts i never understood that but it just like became a more prevalent and prevalent things as the years went along i don't know man but at least in this game it's just everyone's kids you don't have to worry about weird people being teens and dressing up like as a pizza hut slut or some weird shit i i don't get it it's like fetishizing Halloween and costumes, I just never understood that. It's just something you point and laugh on the internet as some kind of meme now, but it, it happens. Unironically, it's weird. Anyway, they come and the only thing humans can do to appease these de demons is to give them candy. I see. That's I guess the humans are used to it then, because they don't seem to mind us. Yep, yep, they better be nice to us after all, or we might play tricks on them. I'm just glad it's like that. I thought humans would kill me. No one kills monsters anymore, or witches, or anyone. Well, I mean... I guess it depends on the timeline. Oh... Really, I heard humans kill each other all the time. They do? Man, she hasn't brushed up on history, I see. Don't they? Value looks worried. Maybe she doesn't know that much about humans after all. Well, uh, you don't need to worry about humans murdering humans anyway. Because you're a tooth fairy, not a human. I guess so. Let's stop talking about that kind of stuff. We got candy to collect. All right, let's get to it. Maybe this is was the, maybe this is a timeline of before. I mean, hmm, those lanterns. I I don't think I need to put it on and be like, hmm, was this before World War One? Hmm. Let's just not even go there. Whatever. <laughs> they visit several houses and get candy from almost all of them. Incredible. There should be plenty enough candy. Now I only need to find a present and Esker. Valerie catches slow marveling uh, marveling at his candy. What do you think? I'm picking some good houses, huh? You are. Do you know all these humans? I guess. Impressive, and they don't care that you're a tooth fairy. Eh, yeah, sure. I still don't get the teeth part. Why would you want those? It's not like you can stick them in your mouth and start biting things with them. 
All I know is that tooth fairies give you money for your teeth. Why? Maybe they're valuable. Valuable, huh? Hmm, I know some people who collect teeth too. Like my grandpa, he turns bear teeth into necklaces and stuff. Do you do that? Turn teeth into necklaces? You know why. Slow thinks about teeth. With the void like a necklace made of teeth. The more he thinks about it, the more he is convinced. It might be a very good present. But no one else would figure to give such a gift. But where to get the teeth? <laughs> Let's just... We're going the innocent route. The, the happy route. We're just going to continue that path. Do you have a lot of teeth? Huh? You seem like a skilled collector. You got us all this candy. So I'm sure you're a very good tooth fairy, too. Slow knows you must flatter your target before asking them for a favor. Ah, uh, well, I sure look convincing. Got the wings and everything. Yes, and the shoes. Wait, I mean... What shoes do tooth fairies use? Is it just, like, high heels or something? I, I guess, tech... I... Are we going, like, with Disney portrayals of it? Like... You got that one movie, what was it, Jack Frost or something? Or a character that's a teen that's called Jack Frost or something? And the Tooth Fairy was like a hummingbird-looking CG character that wore nothing and was subject of Rule 34 constantly? Anyways, I think I've gotten the hang of them, actually. I haven't tripped in a while. Yeah, I don't know, it's just like, whoa, what shoes? What a Tooth Fairy wear? It's like, shoes. So you must have quite the collection of teeth, sure, and you must have all kinds of nightmare fuel in your pocket. No idea what that is, I don't need fuel to cast a spell. Oh, spell, so you're not only a nightmare, but a wizard too. What? I'm just, no, no, I'm just a nightmare. I can cast a bad dream, that's just common sense. Sure thing, buddy, if you say so. And you should see the night terrors Esker can summon. What are those? The absolute worst thing you'll ever dream of. Oh, okay. <laughs> she gets bummed out. Eh. Anyway, I just think if you could give me some of your teeth. Are you trying to tell a joke or something? No, I need some teeth. I think they've made a great present for the Void. And I have to bring it a good present or it'll kill me and roast me and eat me and spit me out. You're scaring me, but don't say weird things like that. What weird stuff? What's weird about it? It's just... It just is. Come on, we still have some houses to visit. Hmm. Looks like Valerie isn't willing to part with any of her teeth. It's understandable if the teeth are that valuable, it'd be stupid to give them away that easily. But now Slow is sure a necklace of human teeth is going to be a perfect present. Still, Slow is a little sad he thought maybe him and Valerie were becoming friends. He must have thought wrong. It seems like Valerie would be just fine letting the Void eat him. Either way, the two of them decide to look for a place to rest. My feet are killing me. Slow looked at her feet. They didn't look aggressive. <laughs> it makes me think of the pizza being aggressive. <laughs> Your feet aren't killing you? What are you talking about? Yawn, I'm getting a little sleepy. Oh. Maybe that's enough trick-or-treating for tonight. Yeah, I think we have enough candy. Too bad we didn't find your friend. He probably went home already. Eh? What? What do you mean, went home? I mean, it's pretty late. Most kids are definitely home by now. So your friend probably went home too, right? Uh, well, I don't need to yell. That looks aggressive with the two exclamation marks. Probably not. I don't think he would have gone home without me. He knows I can't even get home without him. Huh, why not? Yeah, uh, I don't know how to get back. He's the one who took us here. That's bad. I didn't realize you were lost. I'm not lost. He is. Valerie is very tired. Her feet hurt from wearing big girl shoes all evening. And she ate so much candy, she's feeling quite nauseous. You need to take a gravel. Her mom must be worried too. It's way past her curfew. Really, all she wants to do is go home, but she can't. She won't. Not until Slow finds his friend. I mean, just walk on your bare feet. I mean, it shouldn't be that bad. Alright. Let's go look for your friend. Really? Yay, you can't go home without him, right? And I never leave my friends in a pinch. You wouldn't leave me in trouble either, right? Because we are friends. Thanks, Valerie. No problem. But first, I'm exhausted. Let me go wash my face. Maybe it'll refresh me for a bit. Valerie walks towards a set of stairs. They lead down toward two doors. Slow follows, but is interrupted. Hey, you can't come in here. It's the ladies' room. Eh? Just wait here. It'll only be a minute. Okay. And so Valerie disappeared into one of the rooms. Slow also disappears. Why, you wonder? Someone appeared from behind and pushed him into the other room. What? 
Oh, it's this guy. Ask her. He's been hiding in the male bathroom? Finally, I thought that thing would never leave. Where were you? I've been looking all over. I was telling you look for a moment to rescue from that human. Now be quiet. We'll wait until she leaves. What are you talking about? What, what human? What are you, stupid? That human you were just with. A realization dawns on him. Ah, no, no, no. She's not a human. She's a tooth fairy. A what? A tooth fairy. They're kind of like humans, but not really humans. Is that what she told you? Eh? Listen slow. That's a human. Everyone here is a human. How do you know? I saw lots of different creatures around earlier. That's because you're lazy and doesn't look properly. Those are all humans in costumes. They're pretending. Why would they? I don't know. It's a game, I think. If you're in a costume and knock on the doors with pumpkin lanterns near them, you get candy. And that's what I've been able to gather. I got candy that way, too. I know. I saw you. And I was so scared, you idiot. Oh, the smart one was scared, uh-huh. What were you thinking? That the humans didn't mind me. Yeah, that's only because they thought you were a human in costume. Okay, if that's the rationality, why the hell would you be scared if you think you can blend in with them? You're pretty stupid, man. But if one of them found out the truth, you'd, all, you'd have been dead. I can't take my eyes off you for a second. Don't ever do that again. Well, it doesn't matter now. I found you and you're safe. I got us the candy. Seems like a toxic relationship, man. Maybe sure he cares about him, but nonetheless, it's quite abusive. It's quite toxic. Got us the candy. S Slow shows uh, Esker his candy collection. And just like that, all the anger and worry in Esker's face washes away. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you sure did. That's incredible, Slow. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Praise to me more. The Void's gonna love this. As long as we get a good present, we're set. And that, I know just the thing. A necklace made of teeth. Teeth are apparently valuable. Assuming that wasn't another lie. A tooth necklace, huh? Esker thinks about it. That's actually a pretty good idea. I can see the Void liking something like that. Right. Right, get the girl over here, we'll pull out her teeth and go. What, well, hers? But she's the one who helped me get all the candy. And she's also the one who's been lying to you this whole time about being a fairy or whatever. Oh no. Wait, Skull? Dude, do I die? Let's save, just in case. I haven't done that, ever. Listen, Esker. You said the humans are in costume and it's a game, right? Maybe she thought I'm in the game, too. And she doesn't know I'm really a nightmare. That much is obvious. She'd have screamed for help otherwise. So I'm thinking she didn't mean to lie to me. He's having a big brain moment. She was telling me she's a tooth fairy because that's the game. That's not the point. The point is she'll want you dead once she finds out you're human. What do you mean that's not the point? You said she lied, and she lied thus you can take her teeth or something like that. But maybe not. She doesn't seem to mind a lot of things. So maybe she won't mind me or you or nightmares in general. I worry about you, Slow. You're gonna get hurt. Or killed. Or both at the same time. Slow? Ah, Valerie. Sorry, sorry. Did she just enter the male's washroom after she said I got the girl, the guys can't go in the girl's bathroom? What kind of fucking double standards is this? Is this the friend you were talking about? Like, seriously, you're in the male's washroom. Get out. There's a sad face on the, drawn on the wall on the left. Yeah, this is Esker. Nice to meet you, Esker. I'm Valerie. Hi. All right, I'm not supposed to be here. Derp. Sorry, I'll wait outside. Double standards. Slow. Yeah. We need those teeth. I'll figure something out. We really don't have the time. The birthday party is going to start soon. Let's just get out of here for now. There you are. I'm glad you found your friend. That means we can all go home now. I guess so. Don't be sad, we can hang out again tomorrow. Probably not. Where do you live anyway? We can walk you there. Thanks, that makes me glad, actually. I didn't want to walk alone this late at night. Say, uh, Valerie. Yeah. Are you afraid of nightmares? I guess they can be pretty scary. Heh. <laughs> but they're not all scary. I'm not scary. Ah, uh, sure, I wouldn't mind a night. Uh, I wouldn't mind a nightmare as small as you. Don't be so sure. Stop it, Esker. Now we're in a dark alleyway. This seems suspicious. Like, leave the boarded windows. It's a dirty alleyway. I live right through here. Thanks for walking me. Before you go, don't you want to see what slow really looks like? If you're going to be hanging out later, that's... Ah, uh, that's right. I haven't s even seen your face yet. No, that's okay. I'll just uh, wear this outfit every, every time. What's that? Come on now, slow. 
You can't build a friendship on lies. I haven't been lying. I've been honest the whole time. What are you guys talking about? Take the hood off. No, what the hell? You don't want to do it because you know I'm right. Mm -hmm. Fights. Valerie doesn't know what to do. Why are the two of them suddenly fighting? She sh should she try to interfere, but before she can decide, Esker manages to pull off Slow's hoodie. Yeah, oh, man, he's a eyeball. That's pretty gross. <laughs> Confused. What on earth? That's a strange expression to have and staring at a giant gross eyeball man. What on earth? Well, human. Huh? Isn't slow a gross scary monster? Gross, yes. It's a big fat eyeball. I was at least expecting him to be a cyclops. Gross. Ask her, you think I'm gross? I don't, but the human does, don't you? You do? Well, maybe a little. Oh. See, I told you. But it's not really scary. Meh. It's just... Doesn't that, like, hurt? Not having the rest of your head? It doesn't hurt. Were you in an accident or something? No, no, I was always like this. Do you get it? Yet. We're not humans like you. Slow... So slow can't be your friend. Why not? Uh... Because humans are afraid of nightmares. Yeah, they kill us. I won't kill you. And I won't tell anybody you're nightmares either. Really? Wait, what? Really? We can be friends just fine. Really? Oh. Really? You hear that, Esker? Okay. Ugh, whatever. That doesn't solve our problem, Slow. What problem? We need to bring the Void a present. A tooth necklace. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to like, obsess over the tooth necklace. I mean, it could be anything, goddammit. Or it'll kill us and roast us and eat us and then spit us out. See, you're scared after all. Give it a rest. The Void is scary for us, too. Hmm. Go home, human. Nightmares will deal with nightmare problems. You said you needed a tooth necklace. Correct. I know where to get some. So you're a tooth fairy. Ugh. No, I'm not. But my grandpa makes tooth necklaces as a hobby, so we can just ask him for one. Where is this grandpa? He lives in the woods. That oh, was the guy we first met. Okay. Hey, I've been here before. So this is my grandpa's house. He's probably asleep by now, but Valerie's about to knock on the door. Stop. We can't be seen by even more humans. He's already seen me, though. But he hasn't seen me, and I'd like to keep it that way. Alright. Then go hide, I'll bring you some necklaces. Alright. The two nightmares slink away, and Valerie knocks on the door. The old man emerges from behind the door. Trick or treat. Valerie, my goodness. Why are you still out and about? Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm trick or treating. No, you're not. Come inside, I'm calling your mother. Well, they're boned. She's not coming. Yeah, just give her a moment. It's been several moments. I knew it. She was pretending not to be scared. So she could hide inside the cabin. I think I saw human weapons inside. She must be telling that man about us. And as soon as they spot us, they'll shoot us. I scare oh my good lord. Why can't you see? Valerie is a nice human. I admit she seems nice. But humans are rarely what they seem. You can be so... She'll come out any moment now. So just wait. We don't have much time left. Any moment now. They wait. And wait. And then, the lights in the cabin turn off. Why'd they turn the lights off? Looks like the human went to sleep. Or they turned off the lights so their own reflections won't block the view outside, so now they can shoot us better. You're not gonna shoot us for crying out loud. Fine, so they went to sleep. I don't understand. Did Valerie forget we're waiting for her? Well, the man was angry she was out this late, so she he probably told Valerie to stay inside until morning. Oh, that'd be my guess. Or then they're going to shoot. Enough of that. Either way, we're hosed. We need to find a present right now, or we'll be late to the birthday party. Curses. I'm gonna peek in through the windows. No, you're not. Seriously, they might shoot. Come on, that man already saw me and didn't shoot. He gave me candy. You wait here, I'll go take a look. Be careful. Slow peeks in through the window. All he can see is curtains. So like a proper creep, he tries another window. This one is slightly open. Slow! Valerie is peeking at the window. Valerie, have you been captured? Eh, no. But I can't come out anymore. My grandpa told me to stay the night. And my mom's gonna pick me up in the morning. What about the necklace? Don't worry, I found two finished necklaces. Which one do you want? Hmm, what's the difference? One has wolf teeth, the other bear. What are those? What are what? Bears and wolves. You don't have a human tooth necklace? No, they're animal teeth. Eh, what kind of animals are they? 
bears are around her here are like, hmm, I don't know, actually, I've only seen one in the distance. But people say you absolutely can't go near a mother bear with cubs. They'll definitely kill you to protect the kids. Hmm, what about the wolves? Uh, those move around in packs and they hunt together. They're like really strong and big dogs, kind of. What are dogs? Just wolves are dangerous, okay? Wolves will gang up on you and tear you to shreds. So wolves hunt in packs and will tear you apart. And bears will maul you to death if you go near their kids. Right, so which necklace would your mom like better? Hmm. Well, perfect time to save so we can get maybe two endings at the very least. Because otherwise, the only third ending would be the obvious of not picking the flower options. And if we can hold control to skip things, then it'd be very easy. Since I'm going to assume I've been reading for 34 minutes. Definitely not 20 minutes per read. I've been reading quite fast, too. Um... We could probably get all all endings. Let's go with the bear necklace. I'm gonna assume wolf and bear necklace maybe get different endings. We'll see. The bear one sounds good. The void is our parent and kills things too, like the bear mom. Maybe the void will appreciate the bear's gentle brutality. The what? Maybe I didn't explain it very well. I'll take the bear necklace, thanks. My grandpa always says the world is give and take, so he's probably gonna make me do some guarding for him in exchange for the necklace. So you better come and help me out, okay? Sure, as long as it's uh, out here away from humans. Yeah, we'll just tell Grandpa you're a weirdo who always wears a Halloween costume. Alright. I hope Asker comes to help us too. He's very cautious, but I'm sure he'd really like to be friends with you too. Yawn. I hope your mom likes the necklace. Me too. I'll tell you how it goes. And if I don't, hey, if I don't die, that is. Valerie's too sleepy to keep up with the conversation. She just nods half asleep. Good night. Thanks for the help. Good night. Yes. Valerie closes the window and slow returns to Asker. Ta-da. Nice. Is that a necklace? It doesn't look like human teeth to me. Right, it's not. Let me tell you about the animals in the human world. Whatever. Slow tells Esker about the wolves and bears, and the two make their way to the birthday party. They had hoped to visit home first, but there was no more time. So straight to the party it is. It's my birthday. Ha ha ha. My birthday, my birthday. Presents and candy, give them to me now. Who goes first? You two. I see you have a lot of candy. But what about my present? We got you bear tooth necklace. What the crap is a bear? One of the beasts of the human world. Oh, what kind of beast? Tell it, Slow. Bears are fearsome. They will maul anyone who comes near them. Nice, nice. <laughs> nice, nice. Especially mother bears. They are fearsome protectors of their children. No one is allowed to hurt their young. The mother bear will gore to death anyone who comes near her. The void takes notice of all the little nightmares listening intently. <laughs> the nightmares seem impressed with bears. The Void thinks about that. It also fancies itself as a loving protector now. It asks the Nightmares if they think it is akin to a bear. The Nightmares say yes, of course, even though it's not quite true that the Void is fearsome. Indeed, I am very loving and very brutal. And isn't that right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. The most fearsome and the most loving parent. Yes, yes, I am. I am loving yet violent protector of my children. Celebrate with me, my children. You are all under my loving care and safe. Until you, I eat you and spit you out. All the nightmares cheer. It is a true cheer this time, so it is extra joyous. The Void likes this. There were no killing, no roasting, no eating, and no spitting out of nightmares that night. The Void's whims only last so long, so surely it'd be nothing but chaos next year too. But the nightmares are hopeful. They hope that if they keep praising the Void as a protector, maybe it'll keep acting as such. For now, oh, the Void revels in it. So for now, everyone is happy. The next day, Slow is in a great mood. Ask her, could you open me a portal to the human world? You're really going back, huh? Uh, yes! I promised to help Valerie pay for the necklace. I think we'll do gardening, whatever that is. I guess I'll come too. Really? You need me to open the portal for you once you come home again. Plus, I also owe her for the necklace. And I need to make sure you won't get caught by the humans. Right, right. Shut up. I won't open the door. Baka. Valerie would be happy to see us. I need a longer coat, long enough to reach the ground, so that the humans don't notice I'm levitating. All right, you could just stop levita levitating. I mean, oh, and so Slow and Valerie and Esker became good friends, and Valerie taught Slow and Esker all about the human world. Uh, Slow tried to tell Valerie about the nightmare world too, but it scared her. Esker, on the other hand, was still scared of humans. He was fine with Valerie though. The three of them had a lot of fun hanging out. Who knows what the future has in store for the trio. But for now, at least they were all happy. Happy end. Happy end indeed. 
and there's an eyeball watching them all. Well, that was a happy end. Let us see what happens then if we get the wolf necklace. The Void likes tearing things to shreds too. I think it'll appreciate Wolf's fierceness. And we'll just... About the wolves and the bears. Okay. It's my birthday. Haha, uh -huh. my birthday, my birthday. Let's see. What are these wolf creatures? They are fierce hunters. They roam in packs and tear their prey to shreds. Oh, I'm very fierce myself. This necklace fits me nicely. <laughs> On their finger. Necklace might not be the right word. The Void is too magnificent to have a necklace so small after all. But all the nightmares praise the Void on how well it suits it. Yes, yes, I am akin to a wolf. And that makes you my pack. So celebrate with me, my pack. Eat candy, eat candy, tear it to shreds. Everyone eats some candy, and more presents are given to the Void. But not like previous years. They were... There were no killing, no roasting, no eating, and no spitting out nightmares that night. The Void fancied them all a pack now. It had a plan brewing in its fearsome mind. Yes, we should hunt together. Oh no. Perhaps the human world would be a good place to start with. Oh no. Mm, let's see if this is the same. They became good friends still. Hmm. Esker, on the other hand, was still scared of humans. He was fine with Valerie, though. The three of them had a lot of fun hanging out. For now, they are all happy. Happy end. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure, then. That might be the same ending. It says happy end for both of them, but it's different, but not so much. Uh, I'll, what if I do this? You're probably right. I'll see what differences there are and see if I get a different ending. Uh oh. Gonna lure in the bathroom? Oh no. Valerie opens one of the stall doors. Trick or treat! Asker jumps out of the stall and grabs Valerie. She screams and struggles so much that Asker loses a grip on her. But there's nowhere to run. Slow is blocking the way out of the stall. And while she is trying to push Slow, Asker grabs her again. She keeps kicking and scratching and punching as the two of them wrestle her head into the toilet. Valerie keeps failing in panic. Are we seriously killing a girl? Her struggling works against her, and soon some water gets into her lungs. This causes her to grasp for air, but there is no air, only more water. Then she passes out! Did she finally die? I don't know. Okay. Let's see what happens, though. So I'm probably not gonna get all endings, because I'm already... It's now over, already me reading for 40 minutes. I'm getting raspy. So it's like, if you want to see the different endings, you can play, because the game is free. And the link in the description below. But I'm just gonna quickly see what happens. Like, things is just getting out of control. I think this is, like, the, the bad thing, where it's just like, at the last moment, we take her teeth by force. Quite literally, we just murdered a child here, man. Seriously, we're gonna turn these teeth into a necklace now. Oh, God. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it here. As much as some people be like, No, Nico, get all the endings. My voice is tired. And and I'm finding it in this kind of situation, I'd maybe be better that I just leave it open-ended. We're like, well, if you're really interested in this and you like their style, because this uh, developer makes... Similar kind of cutesy-ish visual novel slash cute horror games, gamer sock included. Um, and if you want to get all endings and play it yourself, because I know some people are like really into visual novels and they'll play all the endings and get everything, blah blah blah. Well, let's say this is more of an introductory video of their works. So if you enjoyed, you can hunt all the endings. For now, I'm fine. I'm fine with a happy ending. I'm content with that. But again, link in the description below if you want to play it yourself. I'm gonna leave it here. As much as it's a weird, it's a weird time for me to stop. Like, I should have just stopped after the happy ending and ended it there, but I was mildly curious. So... Mmm... Main menu. Bonk. I hope you enjoyed. We're not gonna get the other ending so we find out what happens. So there's two missing endings that you can get yourself. But it was just funny that we actually saw... We, we literally, like, either killed the girl or knocked her unconscious. But and then smashed her teeth out or something like that. That's pretty gruesome. To just like, oh hey, we're best friends, and then suddenly just like, quick, 
throw this girl in the bathroom stall and swirl her, swirly her in the toilet and break her teeth. That got pretty dark, man. It's unfortunate. But, I don't know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. Cute character design. Yeah, I don't know. And all that. I don't know what more I can say. Cute character design. Uh, if you like visual novels, I've already said everything about it. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button. Become a full subscriber. Hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Um.